Maybe your neutral, two hots coming out of the breaker, and going up to the back side of the outlet. So now I'm going to connect the box to the wall. I'll have to remove the outlet, connect it to the wall, run the wires to this hole back here, and then run them up to these big terminals here. Neutral strip, ground strip. So I went ahead and just popped the whole breaker unit out. But I'll be taking the wires, putting one hot here, and then the other hot here, and then the neutral will go up here, ground down here. Got this secured to the wall. Wires coming out, ground strip here. Neutral comes up to the neutral bar. One hot here, one hot here. So now I'll be able to take this. See these little hooks on the bottom of the breaker. Little hook on here. And then I'll be able to, after those hook on, I'll be able to slide those in like that. And it should hook right on because this is a GFCI breaker. It does have another neutral coming off of it. So I'm going to bring this neutral up to the neutral bar and hook that up. Oh, well, here it is all wired up. Put the cover on. I do have a nice little uh, cover up here too for the outlet. So now I will turn it on at the breaker box and test it for power. Okay, here's the one I'll use for that. Turn it on. Didn't pop back off, so maybe that's... So now when I flip this on, I should see this go to about 240 volts. Alright. 245. 246 that's right where it needs to be so this uh, outlet is working how it should be it's basically just a 240 volt outlet now you could probably double as like a welding outlet or anything else you needed but that's that turn it back off and now I should be able to hook the generator up to that